In this video, I'm going to show you how to cover up dark circles, the kinds that are really stubborn and just regular concealer isn't gonna cut it. So let's get started. Okay, so my first tip, when concealer isn't cutting it, it's not working out, you still have dark circles, the number one thing you can do is to color correct. So dark circles tend to be more on that blue purpley side. So you wanna use something that is the opposite of that color so that you can cancel it out and neutralize it. And it's gonna make concealing a lot easier. You can use an orange concealer, a salmon colored concealer. You can even take a little bit of maybe like an orange lipstick. Use what you've got. I'm using a little bit of this orange concealer, getting a little onto my finger. My dark circles right now aren't that stubborn. I do have a little bit of foundation on, so they're not that obvious, but this is what you would do. Tilt your head down so you can really get in there. Pat a little bit onto your dark circle. Blend it out a bit. What this is gonna do is I know it looks crazy at first, but trust me, there's a method to my madness. I'm gonna blend it out as best as you can, just so it's really thin. You don't wanna have a lot of product on. It looks like a lot because you're just not used to seeing orange under an eyelid. Just blend it out till there's not much there. And then you're gonna go in with your concealer. Whatever concealer you wanna use. I like this one. And I like to use a sponge because it's gonna give you a really nice, even application, really light. If you're using a thicker concealer, this one has a lid, so I just tap it, tap any excess off on that. Using the pointed part of the sponge, I'm getting right up in there. Placing it first, and then I'm patting it and pressing it into the skin. And see, before it looked like crazy orange, and now you can't see it. You can even use your finger. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Just make sure that they're clean. A lot of the times, your fingers can be really helpful because the heat from them is gonna help to melt the product into the skin and get you a much more natural looking finish. So you see, you can't see any orange, but you definitely don't see any of that blue purpliness that you get from dark circles. You wanna kick this up a little bit Take a very small amount of a concealer that's a bit lighter than your skin tone. Just do a few dots here. Then again, take your finger and blend that out. That's gonna help to brighten the area up if you need it. Sometimes there's things you just don't feel like you need. Some days you'll need something and some days you won't need it. So don't be afraid to just pay attention to your face, figure out what you need that day. And I also don't really recommend setting your concealer underneath your eyes with powder because no matter what the area underneath your eyes, it's th there's gonna be things that are gonna be going into the fine lines. The products are gonna settle into the fine lines. But if you don't set it with powder, you're able to just press and blend it throughout the day. Whereas when you have powder on over it, it's gonna be really hard to fix it. It's gonna end up looking a lot worse. Um, you'll probably wanna be adding more product over it and it's just gonna be a disaster. So just keep this area moist. It's fine. So there we go. 